Hey, welcome to Barn Tech. You may have seen one of my videos where I was rebuilding the engine for my 2009 Ford Super Duty. Well, I've been driving it around for about a month now, and it's making several noises that kind of bother me a little. So today I'm going to figure out what's making all of those noises and make the noises stop. Today's episode is brought to us by 2 Timothy 1.7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Now there's four main issues that I want to address today. Actually, today I'm going to be working on the brake squeal. That should be the most straightforward of the issues to diagnose and fix. Before I did this though, over the past month, I've been working on a pop sound that happens when I turn, a rattle in the back, and an engine clatter above 1700 RPM. So let's jump into the first one. Now this is the first time I've had this wheel off since I bought the truck, so there's really no telling what I'm gonna find. I can hear it squealing already though as I just turn the hub. And I'm hoping that's brakes and not bearings. All right, let's check. Let's check and see. Is it brakes or is it bearings? Very good. It's coming from the brakes. Well, I got lucky and I caught it before it got into the rivets. You can see there's not a lot of pad left. I was fortunate. I caught it when I did. Um, there is a little bit of lip on the uh, rotors here, but the rotors feel pretty smooth, so I'm just going to put new pads on it and go with that. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to clean off these pins here and uh, lubricate them, make sure they float real good so that the inner and outer pads wear evenly. When I was a kid holding the flashlight for my dad, he didn't have one of these tools. He had to use a C-clamp which is what I think I'm about to switch to because this little uh, hand crank on this thing is not really meant for doing a double piston caliper like that. So let's see if this C-clamp does any better. Wow. It feels like one of the calipers is compressing better than the other. Boy, that piston isn't moving. The other one's moving a lot easier. Let's see how easy the other one moves compared to this. All right, so I got one cylinder that the piston's going in pretty easily, and I got one that the piston won't go in at all. So if I can't get that piston to go in and out more easily than that, I'm gonna have to replace this caliper. I got updates. I ended up needing to replace both calipers, so I've pulled the left caliper off. I already replaced the right caliper. I'll bleed that in a little bit. Brakes are taken care of now. So now let's flash back to some of the things that I fixed earlier in the month. First of all, let's start with the pop that happens at low speed turning. Right, let's see if we can hear some noises. It's gonna be hard to hear much of anything over the brakes dragging. It's a pretty loud pop. From All right, here's kind of a ghetto experiment to see if this will make the pop noise stop. You can see this bushing was riding down over this uh, thing right here. So I've got a couple of washers stacked on top of that to keep the bushing from going around it. And we're going to see if that takes the slack out and makes it stop popping. And here's the suspension with those washers installed and the nut torqued down. Well, installing these spacers to take the slack out of the shocks may have helped the ride a little bit, but it did not get rid of the popping sound. Thanks to my friend Chris who suggested I look at the TSBs for a solution to the popping problem. It turns out it's a common issue and my body mount kit came with a spacer that I can put on top of the number one body mount 
and that should make the problem go away. Overall time to install the spacers is less than an hour. Uh, it took me probably 30 minutes to do the first one and the second one's going much faster. I just had to loosen up the back three cab mounts on each side. Um, I didn't actually take the bolts out of any of them except the front one here. And then I jacked up the cab with a hydraulic jack to uh, make room for that spacer to go through. So now that I've got the bolt started in the hole, I'm going to take the jack out from under it so it's safer to work under here. And the last step is to tighten all of the body mounts to 76 foot-pounds. Well, the spacer in the front body mount worked, so now I'm on to the other noises. There it goes. I heard the lifter sound pretty good right before the upshift, and then the rattle in the rear right after the upshift. Well, by dumb luck, I was able to figure out the cause of one of my noises. I was climbing up onto the truck and I bumped it and I heard a rattle in the back. So let's go see what that rattle is. So here we go again. And now I put my hand on these two. Okay, I bent the dividers just a little bit so they don't rattle now. And I put some carpet underlayment under there. There's still this other rattle that turns out to be the latch for the toolbox. All right, I drilled a 5 16 hole and I've got some hardware here. A little bit of rattle from this. Could put a spring on that, would quiet that down. And I think I can put the spring from this end over here. All right, took a spring and reformed it so it has ends on it now. I'm gonna see if I can clip that around this rod. And there. Well, I think that got rid of a bunch of the rattle there too. So here we go. I think a bunch of my rattles were actually coming from the toolbox. Now I can kick it without any persistent rattle. So I think we're good to go. Well, last night I took my first long trip in this truck. I drove 190 miles to Arkansas. The rattle in the back seemed to get worse the more I drove. So I looked today and found that these two bolts on the exhaust flange were just a little bit loose. So I tightened them up just now and we're going to see if that rattle goes away on the way home. Last night I had my son drive the truck around the neighborhood and I sat in the back and listened for what's causing the rest of my noises. I discovered two things. Uh, first of all, it's my right front brake that's dragging, so that should be pretty straightforward to fix. And the second thing is that the rattle noise is coming from somewhere down under the passenger side of the truck, right around this area, like it's around the exhaust pipe. So I'm going to check the exhaust pipe and see if I can figure out what's going on. Now, it sounded like it was coming from the exhaust, but I have tightened the exhaust and worked on the exhaust a bunch and I don't think it's the exhaust but let's listen when I hit the exhaust I'm hearing a rattle let me bring you over here okay so I'm hitting the exhaust and there's actually a little bracket right here that's loose. When I put my fingers on it, it stops rattling. So I'm gonna either tighten these up or take them off and that should take care of that noise. Well, praise God, I was able to figure out what was making those noises in the back. 
I think the clatter noise that I have above 1700 RPM is one of the lifters not rolling properly on the cam. And so it's getting bound up in there and it's floating just a little bit at high RPMs. So I'm gonna pull the, the lifters out now and we're gonna check and see if one of them has an issue. Okay, I pulled the valve cover. Everything appears to be working properly from what I can see here. I realize that I have to actually pull the head off to get to the lifters down there, and I'm just not gonna do that today. Okay, so the more I thought about it, it doesn't make sense that my noise is caused by lifters. I believe it probably is valve noise, like an old diesel would make. And what I think's going on is the pilot injection is turning off at 1700 RPM. So that's pretty common with the stock tune. So we're gonna run up the street here with a stock tune and I'll let you listen to the sound that my engine makes between 1700 and 2000 RPM. And then we'll do the same run with a towing tune that I believe uses a little more pilot injection. There it is. All right, gonna pull over and change the tune. Man, what a huge relief. I was afraid that rattle noise was something seriously wrong with my engine. I was really relieved to figure out that it was just the pilot injection. So that's going to do it for this video. If you've enjoyed my video, why don't you click that barn button to subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, you can click on one of these other videos that's popping up now. God bless.